That's gotta be him. Hey you, stop right there. Ron Baker, private investigator. You thought you'd get away with it, didn't you? Hands up, now! Sir, I'm a police officer. You're making a grave mistake. Don't make me use this. For the last time, I didn't rob nobody. Yeah. Man, it's my hand, man. Watch it. Oh, shut up, baby. Or I'll give you something to really whine about. Get comfy. Ron Baker, PI. How can I help you? Oh, hi, Mrs. Evans. Yes, no need to worry. Uh, I'm on the case. Uh, yeah, I'm actually following the suspect right now as we speak. Of course, as soon as I find out any more information, I'll call you back. Don't worry, Mrs. Evans. I'll get to the bottom of this. You have the right private investigator for the job. Trust me. Okay, bye-bye now. Oh, that's gotta be him. Hit the lights, here we go. He doesn't even know who he's messing with. Hey you, stop right there. Excuse me? What's going on? I'll be the one asking the questions around here. Ron Baker, private investigator. You thought you'd get away with it, didn't you? Get away with what? Listen, I think there's been a big misunderstanding here. Oh, I understand everything perfectly clear. I saw you fleeing the scene. I've been following you. Now don't make this any harder than it needs to be. Fleeing what scene? What are you talking about? Enough. Hands up, now. Sir, I'm a police officer. You're making a grave mistake. You're not a cop. I know a thief when I see one and you're a criminal. I know that you broke into that house. I didn't break into anything. My name is Officer Brinson. I work for the Manga Park Police Department. And then let's just try to talk this out, all right? Enough talking, I've heard enough. Don't make me use this. You're under arrest for burglary. Let's go, dirtbag. For the last time, I didn't rob nobody. I'm a police officer. Do you know who I'm going to be if you don't release me? Shut up, start walking. Yeah. Man, it's my hand, man. Watch it. What are you talking about? Nothing happened. Oh, shut up, baby. Or I'll give you something to really whine about. Get comfy. Hi, uh, this is Mango Park uh, Police Department. Yeah, this is Ron Baker, private investigator. Listen, I've got a burglary suspect in custody. Can you please send someone immediately to the Mango Park Mall? Yeah, okay, thank you. Right, yeah, I'm on the uh, the south side of the parking lot mall. I'll be waiting. Hey, man, you got the wrong guy. Hey, just stay there and shut up and sit down. Boy, you're in trouble now. The real cops are on their way. I am a real cop. You're about to be in a whole lot of trouble. You're lying through your teeth. I know a criminal when I see one. Now just sit there in silence, or I'll get out the taser. Hello, officer. Ron Baker. P.I. Sergeant Garrett, Manga Park PD. Mr. Ron Baker, is it? Yeah, that's me. Thanks for showing up so quickly, Sergeant. So what seems to be the problem? I, uh, I tracked this robbery suspect. He burglarized the private residence on the west side of town. I tailed him and apprehended him as he was exiting the mall here. Okay. Did you see him during this alleged break-in? No, I didn't personally see him. He was witnessed and seen fleeing the scene. Okay, go get him. I want to talk to him. Okay, sure thing, Sergeant. Come on, guy, get out of here. Someone wants to see you. 
Brenson? Hello, Sergeant. Wait, hold on a second. You know this guy? This man is a police officer. No way. Unhandcuff him immediately. What? This can't be. I tried to tell you. Sir, please explain yourself. Why is this man detained? He fits the description perfectly of a suspect who is seen fleeing the scene. Fleeing what scene? There was a private residence over on the west side of town out in Mango Park that was robbed, and this criminal was seen. Where is this private residence? It's over there in Garden Grove on 7th Avenue. That's my neighborhood. You just saw me leave my place. With the description of the suspect, uh, I mean, I just thought, you know, the way All looked. you saw was a black man living in a nice neighborhood, and you thought that couldn't be right. Sir, you have any idea how much trouble you're in right now? Sergeant, I apologize. I had no idea he was a fellow police officer of y'all. Sir, when you detained him, did he not identify himself as a police officer? Sir, answer the question, please. I mean, he, he did. I, I guess I just thought he was lying. I mean, look at him. Obviously, he wasn't. Whose car is this? Uh, this is my car. Where did you buy it? I got it on eBay, you know, online. Do you know it's illegal to have red and blue flashing light on any car other than a law enforcement vehicle? Says who? The law. And that's the first law you broke. The second, you detained an innocent man who identified himself as a police officer. Sure did. Look, Sergeant, I'm a private investigator, a PI. I was just doing my job. No, you're not, sir. You are impersonating a police officer. In this state, the last time I checked, that's punishable with a $10,000 fine and up to five years probation. And you better be lucky Officer Brinson didn't get injured during the process, or else you'd be facing prison time. Prison? You can't send me to prison. You can't be serious. You know, hit my head pretty hard on that door. Is that so? It was an accident. Look, officers. This was just a little misunderstanding. We're all on the same side here, right? Can't we just forget that this whole little incident ever occurred? Uh, I'll be on my way. Not so fast. You're under arrest for illegally impersonating a police officer. Turn around. No, no, you can't do this. You're arresting me? Yo, Brinson, can you do me a favor? Yes, of course. I know it's your day off, but can you take that car over to the impound lot at the station? Absolutely. Let's go, scumbag. Oh, and careful with him. He's a handful. Tell me about it. <laughs> Come on. Let's go.